right, so this is day five of Time Out for Africa and we have had a total of 24 games played already. Today we're going to be playing the semi-finals and then we're going to be moving on straight to the finals. And as you can see, I'm one of the ballers here. I'm joking, I'm not one of the people playing basketball, but it's been fun. The kids are so excited and they've been having lots of fun. All right, so I'm going to be interviewing a lot of people and we're going to be talking about basketball, education, what they're wearing, shoes that they like, NBA teams, what their big dreams are. All right, so come with me and let's get it. I want you to tell me if you ever have to play for a basketball team in the NBA, what team would it be? Who would you want to take out in that team and why? Chicago Bulls. Rodon Rondo. My name is Abikali Ibrahim. I, I play basketball. I started playing basketball I think three years ago. Yeah. So I attended Tama for Africa last year. And then my team didn't even make it to the final three. It was a very sad experience. So we gathered ourselves last year, decided to work hard like work very hard so and that's the name of your team your team is called hard work the name of my team is hard work that was, that was the motivation man because whenever i hear the name of my team i try i just want to get on the course anytime so we got ourselves together put our heads together went to the hill knocked the gym all day so we came this year and then we made it to the finals and then i don't have the finals just with me we'll be playing our finals tomorrow and i already know where we i know where we winning because nobody works harder than we do so what's your situation? What do you want to be? Do you want to play basketball after school? What do you want to do? I want to play basketball in school. I want to play basketball after school. I want to play basketball after everything. Right, what, what, do you, what do you want to be when, you, when you're done? Like, what's your career plan? Like, for now, my career plan is being a basketballer. And then after that, I think just being a businessman. But still, even when I, I'm doing business, I still stick to basketball. So what are you going to study? Okay. I'll study architecture. Architecture, yeah. All right, thank you so much for coming out. Time out for Africa. So this is day five of Time Out for Africa. I just met Yusuf, and Yusuf plays for Amadou Bago Secondary School. He is here with his dad, who is here to support him. Yusuf, how long have you been playing at Time Out for Africa? This for three. You have been playing for three years now? Yeah. And um, what has been your experience so far? Um, I've I've, I've, I've learned so many things. Like, I love how it's. How the game is. Yeah. Alright, so Yusuf loves how the game is. And Yusuf Dad is here to encourage Yusuf. How are you, sir? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see this day. Yeah, so, um, how do you feel seeing that Yusuf is here and, you know, playing here and possibly he's also going to play basketball for real? Like, maybe in the NBA. Well, uh, that would be my happiest moment to see him play in the NBA. And uh, well, before then, I would like to take uh, to thank the organizers who have come with this vision. We have so many talents around, and we have nobody to encourage them. In fact, uh, this guy has just come with this initiation. We want to say may God continue to bless him and give him that spirit. So, uh, Training our boys to have a future in the NBA. Okay, so now, um, do you think that Time Out for Africa has affected his education? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, previous years, uh, we had wanted him to really go into medicine, but uh, he wanted to be a horse rider. But to me, I think horse riding in Nigeria is not a favorable profession or a career. So when uh, a coach then introduced him to basketball and I find that he has, got, he has gone to so many tournaments in uh, Lagos and Abuja. And he's great in improved. Very, very well. Very, very well. And even his uh, communication uh, skills has improved tremendously. All right. Yeah. All right, so thank you for coming out. Keep um, supporting I'm you grateful. I uh, will continue to support the Time Out for Africa. And I want the Time Out for Africa to give us more time in training our kids so that we will have this opportunity to be with the other one. Alright, so I'm here with two people from Army Bay and from O'Connell Bay. This is Esther from O'Connell Bay. How are you, Esther? I'm fine. Alright, and this is Jennifer from Army Bay. Hi. 
All right, so Jennifer, I want you to tell me how has basketball affected your education so far? Basketball has not really affected my education. I believe basketball, like they say, time after Africa, enriching childhood through education and basketball. I believe that when you put your mind into something, you achieve what you want. I do miss my... When it's time for studies, I study. When it's time for games, I play my games. That's just it. That might be really has affected me in a negative way, rather than a positive way. Okay, so how has it affected you positively? Like, I've gone to many competitions. So you've met a lot of people? Many, many friends, stuff like that. Alright, All right, so Esther, tell me, um, how, how long have you been in the Jamiro Tech Basketball Clinic? Well, I've played in um, Jamiro Tech Basketball Clinic for three years now. All right, so this is day five at Time Out for Africa, and I'm here with a mother of one of the contestants and an uncle. So can you just introduce yourself? Okay, my name is uh, Mrs. Lairoy A. Ibrahim. I'm the mother to Mr. Fahad Mohamed, uh, who is playing number nine on the field. Okay. Uh, he's my son. Okay, okay. And uncle, tell us about yourself. I am Mohamed Ibrahim. Mohamed. Yeah, uncle to Mustafa. He's okay. in the field right now. Okay, so how long has he been playing basketball as a game? Uh, he has been playing right while since he has been just one. Okay. Yeah, that's like six years ago or so. That's how long he has been playing? Yes. But how long has he been playing at Jamirota Basketball Clinic? Uh, I think this will be like his third or fourth time oh, okay. on Jamirota. Okay. Yes, the last time I think it was at the stadium. Okay. They had all right, so this is Matthew, and Matthew has a very interesting story about how he heard about timeout, and he walks at least three miles to get here every day and go back home. Matthew, tell us your story. My name is Matthew. I am from Matasaru. I came from my school to here. My mother, I am there. My uncle said I should come to timeout. I am coming every day. I want to gain a team. Okay, you want a team? Yes. Okay. Why do you like basketball? What do you like about basketball? It's a game. It's a sweet game to both boys and girls. Okay, so um, what do you want to be when you grow up? A doctor and a doctor. Okay, so now you've heard about um, Time Out for Africa and you have been coming here every day and you haven't gotten a team. How do you feel? I feel somehow. I feel sad in my heart, but I am sure by the grace of God I will have a team. Alright, so Matthew has been here for from the day one and every day he walks at least three miles. He walks to and fro to just to be a part of Time Out for Africa and he hasn't gotten a team yet. So we're looking to try to make sure that he gets a team. We're going to find a way to get him on the basketball clip. How old are you? I am 10 years old. Alright, so we're going to find a way to get Matthew, get you into a team, okay? And what do you look forward to having at the end of the day? I want to... Uh, I look, I want to become a basketball player. <laughs> if I... If I know about it very well, I want to know how to do a skills, how to win the goals. Okay, so you want to learn how to play basketball very well? Yes. All right. All right, thank you very much. All right, so, so this right here behind me are some of the kids that are about to get their registration done. They're holding their forms. So as you can see, they're going to be, um, they're going to be um, um, drafted right now. And then they're going to be given materials They'll be coached by some of the best coaches on how on the basics about basketball and then they're going to be giving materials that they're going to use even beyond here all right so one of the kids that we saw during the week he walked three at least three miles every day to be a part of this and finally Matthew has gotten himself a form Matthew, how do you feel now that you have a form I feel happy okay so um what are you expecting to happen today I am 
expecting today they will give us a timeout shed or or a JC. But I am feeling today we will play on a basketball. And that's what you really want to do. He said that he wanted to be a basketballer. He didn't know the basics about basketball. He doesn't even know the first thing to begin with, you know, about basketball. But today he's attending the clinic, so he's going to learn some of the basics about basketball. And then he'll be giving school materials that he can use because he said that he wanted to be a medical doctor someday. So we're going to watch him do all of that today. All right. So we're here, one of the beneficiaries for Time Out for Africa. His name is Kolade. Kolade, what school are you from? I shall do school. Is it a private school or a government school? Private school. All right. Um, what do you think about Time Out for Africa and what do you think about this whole initiative? We come here to learn about basketball. We come here to learn more about basketball, things that we don't know. They teach us everything that we don't know. And may God bless the person that owns this place. All right. Um, have you made friends since you came here? Yes. New friends? Yes.
Let us bring in some balls for us so that we can continue. So let's hear from him. God bless you. Tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Amanda Adams. I'm nine years old. And I'm in LMU school. Okay, Amanda, um, you're here as one of the people um, participating in the basketball clinic. What have you learned today? I learned how to pass the ball and bounce the ball to each other. Okay, so, so now can you dribble? Yes. <laughs> have, you, have you learned free throws yet? Um, no. Not yet. Okay, okay. Um, what what has been your experience so far? My experience here is that the place is a nice place. The games are nice for children. I also want to thank the Jemirota organizer for bringing up a, such a place like this. Right. That is such nice. All right. Do you like your T-shirt? Yes. Okay. Don't worry. They're going to be giving you um, school materials soon, and then you're going to. Um, I encourage you to stay in school and keep playing basketball, okay? Okay. I think it's fun. Still with um, one of the parents, I want you to tell us what you think about um, the basketball clinic. Basketball clinic is a beautiful site and uh, I am here to support my brother, Jonathan Kolo, all the way from DC. Alright, um, are you a basketball fan? Yes, I am. Who's your favorite basketball player? Warriors. No, who 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 exactly is your favorite basketball player? Curry. Who? Curry. Steve Curry is your favorite basketball. <laughs> okay. All right. So tell us, what do you what do you what's your goodwill message for the people that are um, organizing this whole thing? It's so beautiful, and I pray that they will continue in this spirit, so that this basketball will go to a higher level that even throughout the nation and throughout the whole world. Alright, so we're in one of the tents for the parents and we're sitting here with one of the parents. Um, can you just introduce yourself? My name is Mrs. Amaka Wanko. Okay, how many children do you have here? I have two. Two of them. Do you know what your children want to be when you grow up? Um, one of them say she wants to be a lawyer, the younger one. Okay, so the small one has been juggling between football and being a doctor. So I don't know what he wants. A football playing doctor. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so what do you do you think that this is gonna help the children become what they want to be? Yes, it's going to help the children greatly because some of them at this stage don't even know what they want. So with this, it can help them position themselves. Like some of them always say football because they are always seeing football in their screens. But things like basketball, they hardly see where hey, watch them. So when they things like this, when things like this come up, it makes the children build the interest in things like this. So before you know it. You start saying, I want basketball, I want this, I want that. It's okay, Ali, we're here with um, Mrs. Laraba. Millicent Atto. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. And you're going to tell us what you think about Time Out for Africa, the whole initiative, okay. the experiences over the years, because I know that you've been participating from the first one ever. Yes, yes. All right, yes. so tell us what you think. Um, it's very exciting and very encouraging. He's my senior brother, and he has put so much into kids, into sports, and into education. And the passion is that everybody goes to school. While you're in school, you have fun with sports and you are educated. And that education takes you a very, very long way. So it's a beautiful thing he's doing. And we wish him well. So we're, we're here with one of the team members for Time Out for Africa. Ma, can you just introduce yourself and then tell us what you think about this whole initiative so far? Uh, my name is Sabdat Oyawoye. 
and I have been, this is my second year of coming for Time Out Africa. What do you think? It's beautiful. It, it's and getting better. Or it's not? getting better and best. Okay. I wish him best of luck. Right. He has brought a very good thing to Niger State. I thank him for that, and I thank him for being part of the Time Out Africa. Okay. So what what has been your role as a team member? I have been trying to get some schools to come and join Time Out Africa. I want to even talk to South Africans some other countries to okay. come and participate in Time Out Africa oh, because great. it's a good thing. All right, thank you very much. About yourself? My name is Chemery. I'm 15 years old. I school at Nigeria School. Wait, you're 15 years old? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Very sure? Yes. Okay, um, what have you learned today? I learned how to pass the ball and I also learned how to do chest throw. Chest throw? Yes. Can you demonstrate for us what chest throw looks like? <laughs> uh, tell me, um, what do you want to be when you grow up? I would like to be a fashion designer. Like a fashion designer? Yes. So, um, is that why you're wearing a flowery um, vest beneath your basketball t-shirt? Yes. Because you're trying to push fashion as well? Yes. Alright, um, tell us what you have to say to Jamiruta and the, basket the Time Out for Africa team. They should continue developing, they should continue teaching us how to play basketball yeah. and also teaches those that don't know and if they, if they learn how to play, so they will understand it more. I'm still at one of the tents and I'm sorry, I would just like for you to just introduce yourself and tell us about yourself. Well, I'm Shaka Daba and um, I'm a sportsman. And um, I'm a sportsman. Okay, so what, what do you think about the whole initiative of the basketball clinic, Time Up for Africa basketball clinic? What do you think about it? Well, I've heard about people giving back to society what society has given to them. And this is a real picture of what we mean by giving back to society. I've heard about this gentleman for quite some time and what he's doing to the youths of this country and for these states cannot be paid for by anything. And I believe that it's only God that will reward him. Look at the entire venue filled up with children, youths, who hitherto had nothing to do. And I'm sure that if you can groom them up like this, this is what grassroots sports uh, seeking or grassroots uh, investment in sports should look like. So I quite so much uh, regard him and I appreciate what he's doing right now to the youths of this state. All right, um, also tell us, how do you think that um, Time Out for Africa can become something bigger? Do you think that you can advise on anything that can be done to make it bigger? The thing is that he can't do it alone. And I think people have to support him. He comes down the way from the United States every year to do this. And when he leaves, everything is at a standstill. So there should be a sort of uh, a follow-up from where he stops, prepare the ground before he comes back the other year for a, a, a good program like this. So there should be a follow-up program to maintain these youths he has trained. Because once he goes, that's all. They wait for him to come back. Yeah. All right, thank you very much for coming out. Thanks so much. Good afternoon. I was a part of the team that traveled from the United States. It was a great opportunity to be able to come over with Time Out for Africa Foundation. This is the seventh annual basketball clinic. Some of the activities that were held today was free throw, three on three competition, and they taught the athletes the different basketball drills. It was a success. There were over 300 kids, and I look forward to this program growing more in the future. Thank you. All right, so this is Time Up for Africa, and we're here with Yvanda Kolo. Yeah, we wanted to tell us about yourself, first of all, and then tell us what you think about the whole initiative of Time Up for Africa. Okay, so I am Dr. Kolo. I'm the wife of Jonathan Kolo. And this has been, each year, I, I think to myself, I can't get more excited, but I am absolutely more and more excited each year to see all of the kids here. It's just a dream come true. Yeah. Um, this started with about 30 kids about seven years ago, and now I know we're well over 400 kids. Yeah. Um, the vision to come back, for Jonathan to come back to his home community was very, very, very 
um, just dear to his heart. And to be here and to see kids from his community, his school, um, it's just beyond words for me to explain. Um, it is a blessing to be here. We're happy to be a part of this journey because this is a, is a journey not just for us but for the kids. Um, I can tell they're excited. The numbers are growing. The word is out. I know it is inspiring them to not only play basketball but to stay in school which is ultimately the most important thing about um, the Time Out for Africa organization. Okay so so what do you think, where do you see Time Out for Africa five years from now? Woo, I, you know this is growing you know we you know we're never gonna leave Mena because that's where it all started but if we could extend this to other communities in Nigeria it would be awesome because this is the foundation this will always be the foundation but ultimately is about inspiring kids to want to do more to want to go more places to do more things and if basketball can get them there we, we want to reach out as far as we can um, it's a competition among schools in uh, the Mena area we have about 12 secondary schools competing, 12 boys team and um, another 12 girls team. We have three on threes, probably about 14 teams, boys, 14 teams, girls. Target is basically to encourage the, um, the secondary school kids, primary school kids, you know, stay in school and play basketball. We've seen a lot of progress, um, although our primary objective is not to send kids abroad, but we have about five kids from the Mena area that are in the United States now, going to school and playing basketball. About 350 this year. Because uh, we have more interest in the area, so we have uh, the fundamentals, which will go to mostly the um, kids that are probably between the five, five of ages of five and ten. Then we have probably about another 150 kids that are much grown, so they are going to compete and uh, win awards and prizes.